Welcome back students. In today's class, we will learn how to evaluate this integral. Integral root of ax squared positive bx positive c times dx. So foremost, I want to consider ax squared positive bx positive c. I will take a out and rewrite this as x squared positive b over a times x positive c over a. Then I would write this as a perfect square, which would be x positive b over a raised to the power 2 positive c over a. Now, if you were to expand this, of course, I need to place a 2 here, because if I were to expand this, I would get x squared positive b over a times x positive b squared divided by 4a squared positive c over a. Now I've got the first term, the second term, the third term, but there is an addition of b squared divided by 4a squared which has to be removed. So I place negative b squared divided by 4a squared. So therefore I can now rewrite ax squared positive bx positive c as a times x positive b divided by 2a raised to the power 2 positive c divided by a negative b squared divided by 4a squared. So this is the representation I would be using. So the question now can be rewritten as so therefore integral root of ax squared positive bx positive c times dx is rewritten as integral square root of a times x positive b divided by 2a raised to the power 2 positive c divided by a negative b squared divided by 4a squared times dx. Now I can take a out so that would be root of a integral square root of x positive b divided by 2a raised to the power 2 positive now if i were to take the lcm as 4a squared then i would have 4ac negative b squared times dx so i need to integrate this now what i want to do is i would want to place uh, positive 1 here. So in other words, I would want to take this 4ac negative b squared divided by 4a squared as a common factor. Now, when I do that, I would have something like this. 4ac negative b squared divided by 4a squared times x positive b divided by 2a raised to the power 2 divided by 4ac negative b squared divided by 4a squared positive 1 times dx. Now what we would do is we can move this quantity out. So that's going to be root of a times square root of 4ac negative b squared divided by root of 4a squared integral square root of x positive b divided by 2a raised to the power 2. Now, if I were to flip this, I would get 4a squared divided by 4ac negative b squared positive 1 times dx. Now, I can simplify this. Now, this is root of a times root of 4ac negative b squared divided by root of 4, I'm not doing anything with that, and root of a squared will give me a. Now, followed by integral root of x positive b divided by 2a raised to the power 2. Now, I can actually simplify this. Okay, since I have placed this, let me finish it off just for the sake of continuation. So it's going to be 4ac negative b squared positive 1 times dx. Now this can be simplified as 2ax positive b 
divided by 2a raised to the power 2, of course there's a square there, times 4a squared divided by 4ac negative b squared positive 1. So that's square root there times dx with the integral sign. Now a can be rewritten as root of a times root of a. So that means the system is going to be root of 4ac negative b squared divided by root of 4 times root of a. Now I can cancel the 2a squared with the 4a squared because 2a raised to the power 2 is going to be 4a squared, right? So that's what I meant. And rewrite this as root of 4ac negative b squared divided by root of 4a times integral of square root of now 2ax positive b raised to the power 2 divided by 4ac negative b squared positive 1 times dx. So I have achieved positive 1 there. Now I want to rewrite this as two a x positive b divided by root of four a c negative b squared raised to the power two positive one times dx. Now why do I do this? I want to use the concept of substitution for x squared positive 1. We know that whenever we have x squared positive 1, we substitute x to be a stand theta. So let me substitute 2ax positive b divided by square root of 4ac negative b squared as stand theta. Now this can be further rewritten as 2ax positive b equal to root of 4ac negative b squared times tan theta. Now, why do I do that? Because I want to know the value for dx. Now when I differentiate, differentiating both sides we get the following. Differential of this is going to be 2 times a dx equal to is a constant, rewrite it, 4ac negative b squared times differential of tan theta is going to be secant squared theta d theta. So from here I can write dx to be equal to square root of 4ac negative b square divided by 2a times secant square theta d theta. So I've got the substitution for dx and the substitution for tan theta. So I can rewrite this as root of 4ac negative b squared divided by 4a times integral in the place of 2ax positive b divided by root of 4ac negative b squared. I will be using tan theta. So this is going to be tan squared theta positive 1. In place of dx, I would have to use root of 4ac negative b squared divided by 2a. Now, this is actually root of 4a, okay? So, we got to be a little bit careful when we are handling situations like that. Times secant squared theta. So, this is going to be secant squared theta d theta. So, if I were to rewrite this, this is going to be root of 4ac negative b squared divided by... Now, I can move this to a out so it's going to be 2a times root of 4a integral tan square theta positive 1 it's going to be secant square theta times I've got root of 4ac negative b squared times secant square theta d theta now this is a constant it can also be moved out so when I move out I would have 4ac negative b squared, two square roots, so that's going to be eliminated, giving us 4ac negative b squared, divided by 2 times a times root of 4a integral 
root of secant square theta is going to give me secant theta. I also have a secant square theta, d theta. Now this can be rewritten as 4ac negative b square divided by, now root of 4 is going to be 2, 2 times 2 will give me 4. I've got a a and a root a, so this is a and root a, which can be rewritten as a power 1 times a raised to the power half, which is going to be a raised to the power 3 over 2. So this is going to be a raised to the power 3 over 2. This is a constant. We have to just integrate integral secant cube theta d theta, which can be done easily. So we need to use integration by parts. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4ac negative b square divided by 4a raised to the power 3 over 2 secant theta times secant square theta d theta. So we can first consider the integral. So let me just consider integral secant cube theta d theta. I am rewriting it as integral secant theta times secant square theta d theta. Now I am going to use integration by parts. So let u be equal to secant theta and dv be equal to secant square theta d theta. So therefore integral u dv which is nothing but integral secant Ta, secant theta times secant square theta d theta which is nothing but integral secant cube theta d theta is rewritten as uv negative integral v d u. My u is secant theta. My v is integral of secant square theta will give me tan theta. So place the tan theta negative tan theta. My du when you differentiate u, you get secant theta times tan theta times d theta. This is what you get when you differentiate secant theta. So place that. So that's going to be secant theta times tan theta times d theta. Now what we can do is we can multiply these two together. So this is going to be secant theta tan theta negative secant theta times tan square theta times d theta. But we know a formula. What is that? We know that secant square theta negative tan square theta is equal to 1 and secant square theta negative 1 is equal to tan square theta. Now by this formula I can rewrite the quantity as secant theta times tan theta negative integral secant theta times tan square theta is going to be secant square theta negative 1 times d theta. Okay, so this can be again rewritten as secant theta tan theta negative secant theta times secant theta will give me secant cube theta d theta negative times negative is positive secant theta d theta. Of course on the left I have already have secant cube theta d theta Okay, so this can be moved. When I move that, I would have integral secant cubed theta d theta positive integral secant cubed theta d theta is equal to secant theta tan theta positive integral secant theta d theta. I can add them together. When I do that, I would get 2 times integral secant cubed theta d theta is equal to secant theta d theta positive integral secant theta d theta. Now I need to integrate this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first consider integral secant theta d theta. Now I'm going to divide and multiply by secant theta plus tan theta and secant theta plus tan theta retaining the secant theta d theta. So actually this is not going to impact the quantity. Okay. Now I'm going to make the substitution. Let secant theta positive tan theta be equal to t. I differentiate secant theta. I get secant theta tan theta. I differentiate tan theta. I get secant square theta d theta is equal to dt. 
I take secant theta out, I would get tan theta positive secant theta times d theta is equal to dt. So this is what we have in the numerator. So this is going to be equal to integral. In place of this, I would be substituting dt divided by, in place of secant theta plus tan theta, I'm going to substitute t. When I integrate, I get ln t. So therefore, we know that integral secant theta d theta is nothing but ln t, which is nothing but secant theta positive tan theta. Okay. I did all this just to show you that integrating secant theta d theta will give me ln of secant theta plus tan theta. So we now have two times integral secant cube theta d theta to be as secant theta tan theta plus ln of secant theta plus tan theta. So this is what we have got. Now the original information from where we have obtained this was 4 times a c negative b squared divided by 4 times a raised to the power 3 over 2 and we have expected to integrate secant theta times secant squared theta d theta this is where we started so we can use this statement ns ns okay this becomes equal to now we already have two times integral secant cube theta d theta so we need to rewrite this as 4ac negative b squared divided by 4a raised to the power 3 over 2 times bring the half down and rewrite it as secant theta tan theta plus ln of secant theta plus tan theta okay now move the 2 out so that would give me 4 AC negative B squared divided by 8 A raised to the power 3 over 2 times secant theta tan theta plus ln of secant theta plus tan theta now we know that tan theta as a substitution as so this is the substitution for tan theta now we know that secant squared theta is one positive tan squared theta and secant theta is root of one positive tan squared theta which is nothing but square root of in place of tan squared theta I'm going to substitute 2 a x positive b divided by root of 4ac negative b squared raised to the power 2. So this is my secant theta. So you can box it. So you know secant theta, you know tan theta, substitute it here. So this can be rewritten as 4 times ac negative b squared divided by 8a raised to the power 3 over 2 times square root of 1 positive 2ax positive b divided by root of 4ac negative b squared raised to the power 2 times times tan theta which is 2ax positive b divided by root of 4ac negative b squared this is tan theta positive ln of secant theta, secant theta is root of 1 positive 2ax positive b divided by root of 4ac negative b squared raised to the power 2 positive tan theta which is 2ax positive b divided by root of 4ac negative b squared Close the parenthesis and add positive constant C. This is the final answer to the question. Thank you.